the police blotter of humanity, our worst persons in the world. The bronze to Steve Ducey of Fix News, trying to hold back reality as a man might stand at the shore and hold back the ocean with a spoon. So we're not technically in a recession, yet we hear politicians and people on the TV and the radio and the papers talk about recession. Don't you think what's at the core here is that there are some liberal elements to the media and they are trying to get a Democrat in the White House? Even the right-wing guest from the Media Research Center laughed at him and said, I don't think it's as conspiratorial as all that. Second point, these people supposedly have a business channel for crying out loud. Runner-up tonight, comedian Rush Limbaugh, trying to explain the Democratic nominating process to his robot listeners, saying Hillary Clinton's female supporters, quote, think they're owed this. These women have paid their dues. They've been married two or three times. They've had two or three abortions. They've done everything that feminism asked them to do. That's comedian Rush Limbaugh saying that after being married three times and having had no children. Apparently he's done everything feminism asked him to do. Second point, President Clinton went on that show one day that comedian had a guest host. But the winner, Tony Snow, once again of Fox Noise, visiting on Dennis Miller's radio show and declaring that uh, to do what looks to be respectable and to avoid trouble, Senator Obama in the United States Senate, he's voted present, what, 160 times? Dennis Miller interjected in the Illinois Senate, I believe, on show. No, no, in the United States Senate. Dennis, flashing back to his reasonable days, assumed, as would you or I, that a veteran columnist and former White House press secretary would know more about that stuff than he would. He said, oh, I thought when he was down in the House of, of Illinois that he voted present. Cha-cha. Snow again. He's done both. He's done both. He has cast more present votes in the United States Senate over the last three years than anybody else in the chamber. No, Obama never voted present in the U.S. Senate, not once. Dennis Miller was right. The present votes were in the state Senate in Illinois, and there were 130 of them, not 160. 130 out of 4,000 separate times Obama cast a vote there. So about 3% of his votes were present. There you have it. Tony Snow, having retired from being George Bush's press secretary, now lying recreationally to strangers and passersby. Tony Snow, today's worst person in the world.